And tonight, a fifth suspect is now in custody in connection with an armed home invasion in Providence last week. And we've learned they're also being questioned in another home invasion out of state. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in the newsroom now with the latest developments. We've learned the suspects are facing a slew of charges in connection with last week's home invasion. They're all scheduled to be arraigned next week. No, we know about that. Last Friday, a violent home invasion stunned the people who live on Forsyth Street in Providence. A father shot in the foot, his 18-year-old daughter shot in the hip. Police quickly tracked down and arrested two women in connection with the case. They also identified three men as suspects. Between the time the women were apprehended and the suspects were apprehended, the same location was shot up again. So we knew we had to work fast and get these, these male subjects apprehended. Only Eyewitness News was there on Carolina Avenue yesterday afternoon where police arrested two of the suspects, Miguel Perez and Tommy Bunn. We used our SWAT team, took, took, the, uh, took them down at the house, recovered three weapons, brought them in. Major David LePayton tells us the third suspect, Orlando Luciano, turned himself into police later that night. The police believe Friday's home invasion and Wednesday shooting could be connected. So far, they've only charged the suspects in connection with the home invasion. Do you have any idea why this house was, was targeted twice? We're thinking it was a, um, a possible and attempted robbery. We don't know if they got away with anything the first time. Uh, um, the, the second time was not any type of robbery, it was just shooting the house. Nobody was hurt in the second shooting, but the family of four was home at the time. Police say they don't believe the crimes are gang related. Major LePayton tells me the three men are also being investigated and interviewed by police from Connecticut in connection with a separate home invasion investigation there. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.